Again, you hear the tremendous amount of support for a hinder shot. Both fighters in the cage, referee ready. This third fight of the night is underway. Hinder shot immediately takes a shot. Double leg gets the big dump. Whip passes immediately into the side control. A couple little short shots he's landed already. Thomas Nunez in trouble early here with Joe Hendershot all over him. Riding this mound, he, he postures up to land some ground to pound here. Thomas Nunez really taking a taking a, a beating early here. He's looking to gain control of the arms here of Joe Hendershot. But Hendershot all over, looking to gain some posture, separate and punch, and he does so. He's really landed some heavy shots here right in front of the broadcast. Referee taking a really close look here. Muniz has to move on bottom. He cannot stay flat there. But Joe's really making that impossible for him again. He's staying heavy in this mount. Using his experience to his advantage. You can tell he's got a great background in wrestling. He's really, really heavy on top. Just not creating any mistakes, any errors for Muniz to take advantage of. Hendershaw has, has ridden this mount from the cage all the way to the center. You see Muniz just kind of bumping his way away all the way across the cage, not really being able to get to a side and isolate any type of escape. Just bumping into Hendershot, is he not really doing much there as for an escape? Hendershot calming down a little bit here in the mount, picking and choosing his shots a little bit better now. Muniz really reaching up with his arms like this. It, it, it's, yeah, he, he's not doing the necessary things. Reaching for the underhook, pushing against maybe the legs to try to create space and bump. Hendershot turns this off into an arm triangle, but Muniz does the perfect thing, and he does his rolls out of that. Forces Hendershot to go to a different technique, but he spins right around to the back, and he's able to ride. Looks like he's going to go for a dump here, get Muniz back down to the ground. He's got his hands locked. And he tries to turn back in, but is unable to do so. They're asking for the top side crucifix. They get it. Gives him a, a good little beating there for a second. Makes him move. Gives the back up again. Hindu shot all over Thomas Muniz right now. But Muniz is just not willing to quit just yet. He's still hanging in there. Getting down to short time in this round. Ten seconds left. Looks like he may be able to survive and get out of this round. Hendershot with a few more heavy blows just to send him into the corner. Hendershot looking pretty good there. Good ground and pound from him. He's good heavy on top. Muniz looking a little lost on the bottom there. I think he's really wanting to keep this fight on the feet. That's going to be the objective from here so he doesn't get in that vulnerable position again. But... I'm sure his corner is giving him the necessary advice that he needs to be able to try to turn the tables around here. Joe Hendershot, I'm sure his corner is probably telling him, just do what you're doing, keep it up. That's uh, one round down, two rounds to go. You can see, again, Hendershot using that, that wrestling background, using that experience that he's got to get into comfortable positions, to get into positions he feels like he can control. I think we're going to see him go for that takedown early again in this round. Both guys still bouncing back in their corners, ready for round two. All right, round two underway. Muni circling this time, trying to keep some distance here. I think he's aware now of what the game plan may be for Hendershot. Low kick. And he's good little jab, little one-two. Looks like he's going to establish a little bit more distance here, try to stay away from that big shot that he knows Hendershot does have. Little one-two here and there, and he's aiming these out. Hendershot hanging in there, being smart defensively. Another good leg kick by Muniz. He attempts it again. Backside kick. 
Oh, throws the one, two, and Hendershot is able to duck under and get the double leg again. He passes immediately into side control once more. Very similar position as we saw in the first round. Exactly the same position. Hendershot's corner asking for topside crucifix. They want him to isolate that arm. He's able to do so. This could very well be the end of the fight or put Muniz in a position where he has to give his back up. Muniz is still hanging in there, though. You know, he's, he's not out of this thing yet. He's in a bad spot, yes, but he's not yet to be finished. He's been put in kind of the same position a few times here by Hendershot, and he has survived. But he's got to do something different if he wants to win this fight. Hendershot moves into the mount here. Muniz tries to roll, but Hendershot does keep a good tight guard, rides him all the way through, and is able to settle into this full mount once more. Posture is good ground and pound. Listening to his corner very well, doing exactly what they're asking for. Always good to see young fighters listen to their corners, be very coachable, a good valuable trait to have. Muniz just in the same position, doing the same types of things to try to get out of the same position. It did not work in the first round, and it hasn't worked until now. He's, he's got to do something different. This corner's got to be telling him to try something else here. Taking some heavy ground and pound again. Referee taking a little closer look here. I don't think he's going to let these young fighters, these amateurs, take too much damage. We want to see them be able to train, be able to go on and continue to fight and have long careers, long futures in this sport. So... I don't want to see him take too much unnecessary damage. Hendershot deciding to go for an arm here, and he, he does have it isolated. Muniz doing the correct things here. Ooh, very close. Ten seconds left in the round. Will he be able to finish? Oh, he goes for the hammer fist, and it looks like Muniz is going to be able to survive the arm bar, get out of the second round narrowly. Okay. So that's very, very close to getting a finish again at the end of another round tonight. A lot of very close end of rounds for finishes. So we got the Joe chant going. We were trying to get him hyped up. But I think that Muniz is, is going to have to come out balls to the wall in this round and try to get himself a finish, try to do something to change the, uh, the course of the way this fight is going. Joe Hendershot, he's been able to get the takedown, get some of the ground to pound, and really dominate the uh, the majority of the round. Third and final round, anything can happen. We shall see. All right, both fighters bouncing. Cage door locked. Third round, underway. Oh, Muniz comes out quick with the hands. Joe immediately underneath again once more to get the double leg. Doesn't get the pass into the side control this time. Muniz is able to recover his guard. So Joe's going to have to work inside the guard of Muniz here if he wants to be able to do any damage. Muniz with the, the open palm strikes to the ears, just really aggravating Joe. Really good to try to prevent him from establishing good head move or head position rather there. Joe looking to posture possibly so he could land some more ground to pound. Muniz flat on his back. Here we go. Joe is able to step over. He gets into the half guard. This is a very good position if you want to be able to stay on top of someone and prevent them from just easily getting out. He chooses to go over to the side control, which is a familiar position it seems like he, he likes. Uh, he's been in that position the first previous rounds, first two rounds. Ooh, Muniz able to roll himself out. Comes out on top, back on his feet. Quick with the hands, lands a quick combo. Joe in a bit of trouble and shoots for the takedown again. Muniz sprawls, but is unable to stay on his feet. So we've got Hendershot back into a, a familiar position, side control. Let's see if Muniz is able to get that escape to happen again for him, get back to his feet. Yeah. 
again, Muniz, you know, he's he's doing some better things now. He's, he's trying to create some space with his hips to get his legs up underneath of Hendershot so he can try to recover a half guard, start recovering his full guard, and get somewhere where he can work. But Joe's doing all the right things here, just moving ever so slightly out of the way to prevent those things from happening that Muniz needs. Frustrating spot to be in as a fighter on bottom here. But there is a way out. This will be something that he'll be able to look back on and learn from and practice many different ways to be able to get out of this position. Hendershot looks to step over into the full mount. But Muniz catches him into the little quarter guard there. But it looks like Hendershot was able to clear again to the full mount. Heavy ground and pound. Under a minute left. Coach for Hendershot is asking him to unload Donkey Kong style, looking to possibly finish this fight. He gets Muniz to roll to get his back up. It looks like he may have sunk, sunk a rear choke, and he has the grip looking for the tap. Ten seconds left. He gets the tap in under ten seconds. Amazing performance by Joe Hendershot. Hard fought all the way through to the very last few seconds of the third round sinks the rear naked choke in and is able to get the tap. There we have another scenario where we have a very potential finish, close finish at the end of a round, and this time we secure it. We get the rear naked choke. What a wonderful performance we have by Joe Hendershot. Beautiful showing from him, great showing and, and support in the crowd for him. Great way to get your first win as an amateur there. Thomas Muniz in very high spirits, very positive, taking some coaching there from Murano, Alex Murano. You love to see fighters want to be able to develop like that. Just really, really Ladies good attitude. Great fight. Two minutes, 55 seconds into the round number three. Declare your winner by tap out due to a rear naked choke. Joe. Hendershot! He finishes the fight with just five seconds remaining in the last round. Beautiful job by Joe Hendershot there. And again, just to bring that story back up about this, this kid started training with these gentlemen he's standing in a cage with at nine years of age. Ten years ago, so a decade ago. He's 19 now, standing in the cage. Just got his first ever MMA win. What a great little story with a, a little cherry on top there. Good for him. Great for that team.